So it seems like every other major AI companies are now moving forward and launching AI powered CLIs. So after Cloud Code and Gemini CLI, now we have a new AI powered CLI called as Quen Code. So Quen just went ahead and launched their AI powered CLI called as Quen Code with the latest Quen 3 Coder AI model. And today in this video, I'm going to show you how we can set up and start using Quen Code with the latest Quen 3 Coder AI model. Another thing is that developers are slowly starting to move away from traditional IDEs like Cursor, Windsor for VS Code and exploring more and more AI powered CLIs like Cloud Code, Gemini CLI. And there you go, here we have Quen Code. So in this video, let's quickly get started and see how to set it up and also see how it works. So this right here is the new tweet put out by Quen's official handle and it says Quen 3 Coder is here. And first of all, it just went ahead and told us it's releasing the Quen 3 Coder 480B uh, A35B Instruct model, our most powerful open agent code model to date. And it says it natively supports 256K context and scales up to 1 million. And it achieves top tier performance across multiple agent coding benchmarks among top models, including SW Bench Verified. In the second paragraph, it says we are also open sourcing a command line tool for agent coding and it's called Quen Code. And again, it's actually forked from Gemini Code. Okay, so that is one thing to keep in mind. And it says it includes custom prompts and function call protocols to fully unlock Quen. 3 coder capabilities and Quen 3 coder works seamlessly with the community's best developer tools. Okay, yada yada stuff. So basically, Quen just went ahead and launched their new Quen 3 coder model, and also alongside, they also launched Quen Code CLI as well. Okay, and now you can find more details about it in the GitHub page. So there you go. This right here is Quen Code's GitHub repo, and it was just launched a couple hours back. And now the thing is, if you want to set it up on your computer, all you gotta do is to run this particular command right here. Okay. First of all, make sure you have Node.js installed on your computer. If not, just click this link right here and head over to nodejs.org and download and install the latest version. And again, to use Quen code, you will need, I mean, for the best performance, you'll have to use Quen3 Coder A model. And first of all, you need to get access to the same. And for that, you can actually use open router. So if you head over to openrouter.ai and sign up for an account, and if I go to the model section towards the top itself, you can find Quen, that is Quen3 Coder model. And if I click on that one, there you go, I can access the same. And Quen3 Coder model is already live on open router and you can access it from, I mean, under the hood, they use Alibaba plus open source, hyperbolic, all that, okay? And now let me show you how to set up Quen code and also show you how to use the same. So first of all, make sure you have Node.js installed. And after that, all you gotta do is to run this particular npm command okay so i'll go ahead and copy the same and i'll open terminal so here we have open terminal and in my case i have already installed the same in which ways i'll run this command once more all right so there you go quen is now installed that is quen code is now successfully installed and if i run this particular command right here it should now show me the version of the same so there you go 0 0.01 alpha 0.7 so that is the current version of quen and to use it obviously you will have to do some api configuration so it says set your quen api key in your quen code project and you can also set your api key in the env file and here you can find i mean you have to set a couple of these environment variables like open ai api key open ai base url and also the open ai model so basically what you have to do is you just have to copy these and you just paste it in here and next up you need to get the api key so even though it says open ai api key in here you can you actually have to use the api key which you want to use so in this case i'm actually using the quen3 coder model from open router so in this case i'll have to put the api key of you know open router and that's pretty simple i'll click on this button right here go to the key option and make sure you have some enough credits in your account and after that you can click on this option called as create api key give it a name and copy the api key so as you can see here i have already uh, created a api key and next up you need to export the open ai base url and if i head back to the models page and if i click on api as you can see this right here is the base url okay so you have to copy this open router.ai slash api slash v1 and then paste the same in here and as for the open ai model name you can head back and simply copy this model name right here or simply copy this model name right here and i have pasted the same in here as well okay and now after that you have to copy all of this and head back to terminal and paste this and simply hit enter and that should be it now quen is live and you can start using it right away and to start quen you can simply type quen and hit enter i know it says you're running quen code in your home directory it is recommended to run project specific directory yes i did a mistake there so what i'll do is i'll just maybe let's say cd into desktop and i have already created a folder called as quen so i'll log into the same and now i'll run the quen command and hit enter and there you go quen is up and live and now i can simply put hi and let's hit enter 
So there you go. It says, hello, how can I assist you with your project today? Okay. And now just as to show you a demo as to how Quen works, I'll simply go ahead and give it a simple prompt, something like, let's say, create a simple XOX game in HTML. Make sure to, oops, add some nice design and animation. Okay. And I'll hit enter. Just as to give you a demo, I'm just giving a prompt to create a xox game okay actually this there's a typo but in which ways the ai got it correct so let's wait so it says i'll create an html file with game board player indicators score tracking reset button responsive design with animations and also implement the game logic and add css styling as well and it says let me create the game for you now let's wait for it and as you can see it is using the quen 3 coder model that we specified so we just went ahead and specified the same in this uh, environment variable right here and that is what you're seeing here okay i'm not sure if I, I mean i think you can actually use pretty much any a mode out there but it seems like uh quen code works the best with quen code 3 because it works with the you know there are some custom prompts and function call protocols to fully unlock quen 3 core capabilities is what it says under the hood it's still gemini but it is modified and now it has went ahead and wrote like 405 lines of code and now it is asking us the permission to apply the changes and now i'll hit yes allow once and let's see all right so there you go i can find the xox game html file and i'll quickly go ahead and open the same so this right here is the game player x player zero okay so game works all right so this is a basic game that we created and it it indeed works right cool and next up i'll try to create maybe let's say a landing page so i'll go ahead and say can you create a nice modern looking landing page for a web development agency with sleek and modern design and nice ui along with animations okay so this is the basic prompt i'll give i'll hit enter and let's see hopefully it will and create another html file yeah there you go and now right now i'm just showing you two demo of creating game and also an html file next up we'll go ahead and let's say open an existing project and i'll maybe ask the ai to sort of uh, summarize the architecture of that particular project or maybe explain some features or add new feature wait for it in which ways let's wait for the ai to create this landing page first so there you go here we have the landing page ready and i had to stop the earlier request because it kept on running for like eight minutes without any output so i just went ahead and restarted quen and gave this prompt again and right now it has created the file i'll click on yes allow once and let's try to open it up so this right here is the html file it has created and well seems like we don't really have any styling all right so that's interesting we'll have to ask the ai to fix that i believe all right so seems like it has to create the script js and also probably a css file as well let me see okay in which case let's wait for it right now we only have the html file let's wait for it and it seems like we have some problem in here so it's been six minutes and even now it is still working on it and i don't really find any js file created earlier i actually ran this particular command to create a landing page and it ran for like i, I believe around eight to ten minutes and still it didn't create or it like it was still running i'm not sure if i'm being i mean if i'm losing my patience or if this thing actually works maybe let's say i can interrupt it create the JS file for the landing page. Let me see. I'll hit enter again and let's see if it works. Okay, that's done. And I'll click on allow once. All right. Maybe I can also ask it to create the CSS file as well because we don't really have any styling yet, I believe. All right. So as you can see, we don't really have any styling for our landing page. So I'll have to ask the AI to create the css file as well as you can see it is still loading i'm not sure why this is happening in which case i'll interrupt the process so it has already created the script.js file the landing page index.html file does not have any styling let's see what it does okay it says i'll create both css and javascript files for the landing page to add styling and animation let me wait for a couple more uh, minutes and let's see if it goes through uh well i did not really cancel this request but it says user cancelled the request i'm not sure what happened let me try it again so there you go it has created a style.css file with 904 lines of code so i'll add the same and now refresh 
and there you go so this right here is the landing page and it is reasonably good is what i would say okay nothing fancy or special about this but hey a basic landing page with nice animations and stuff so it has made some changes to the js file as well okay still the same uh here we have something okay this is good okay so this right here is the landing page it has created and now here i have opened up quen in a project that i've been working on and right now i'm in that particular folder and i'll simply go ahead and ask can you please go through all the code in this project and explain about it and its architecture and now i'll hit enter so basically this is like a next.js based project and now what i want quen to do is i want it to read all the files within the project and then create a summary and explain the project and also its architecture and now as you can see it is reading all these files like packet.json next config all different pages within the project in which case let's wait for it so it is now going through all these individual files like dashboard.tsx transaction form transaction list analytics etc etc so basically it is a fi simple finance tracker website that i created a couple days ago just for demonstration purpose in which case let's wait and now it says based on my analysis of the code base here's an overview of the finance tracker application and its architecture so finance tracker is a personal finance management application built with modern web technologies okay tech stack is next.js typescript tailwind version 4 lucid react okay so here we have the complete project structure the key components data models okay all of that looks good so basically i just went ahead and asked the ai to analyze the code base and now here it is and now still i haven't really given any you know very difficult kind of task to quen yet i just basically wanted to show you how to set it up and start using the same thing right away and almost all features of gemini cli is actually available on quen as well for example if you want to let's say add a mcp to quen you can you can do that for example if i run slash mcp right now i don't really have any mcp servers configured but if you want to you can actually go ahead and add a mcp and now if you go ahead and let's say search for help you can pretty much find all the things that you can do in this particular you know quen code so yeah that's pretty much all i wanted to show you in this video and now if you do want to let's say use quen code right away install quen code first using this command right here set the environment variables and get these details from your open router account and once you set up you can run the quen command and then open quen and start using it right away it is as easy as that so yeah so we have a lot of these new aa powered cls popping up and quen code with quen 3 coder is the newest one in the town i hope you guys found this video useful if yes make sure to subscribe and i'll see you next one